Right, I'm delighted to say this week on uh, Devil in Detail, Salford Radio, we've been joined by uh, Sam Luckley. Sam, last time I spoke to you, the country, I think, was in lockdown, wasn't it? You just moved to Salford. How, how have you been settling down? Are you, are you getting out and about a bit more now, and uh, how are you finding things? Uh, hi, hello. Uh, it's good to be back on you. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good, really. There's, there's a bit of life now about the place, and you can go out, and you can do stuff. Um, so, you know, going out for coffees, and yeah, it's... Uh, I, I'm loving it now, bit of back to normality. I'm just, uh, I just moving in and yeah, loving me, loving me time at the minute. How are you spending most of your time when you're not training? Because I know you live in you live in Halifax, don't you? So do you spend a bit of time yeah. sort of this side of the Pennines, around Manchester and Salford, or is a lot of your free time spent up there, up in Yorkshire? Mostly Yorkshire. Um, I've got a couple of mates from uni who live in, in Yorkshire, like Leeds Way and stuff. So um, when I'm not training, you know, I might drive over or get a train over and see them, up, meet up up with them for a coffee um i need to do a bit more exploring in manchester to be fair so that'll that's on the list um i want to take a few things off there and just have a look around the city center and that so um i i'll take any recommendations mate if you've got any yeah, yeah, do. yeah. There's, there's, there's plenty to do around Salford, mate. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty boring. Me really tend to just go out for a coffee with my wife and the kids and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm not really a, like an adventure person. But there's plenty to do. It's a good city, is Salford, and and of course Manchester's a neighbouring city as well. There's plenty, plenty going yeah. on there as well. And uh, so how you found things so far? You know, at the club. I mean, you were looking forward to making your debut. You had to be pretty patient, didn't you, to get your debut? Made it against Warrington. What's it been like that transition from sort of playing in lower league rugby league to to playing in Super League? Yeah, well, massive transition really, coming off, you know, sitting around on the couch for 15 months, my last game being a League One game, and then um, luckily, you know, spoke to uh, Easy and, and Rich and that, and um, I said, you know, I just need, I need some game time, um, I need to go on loan somewhere, um, and luckily enough, Swinton took us, and it was a great club, great, great lads, Stuart, the coach, is outstanding, so, so I love my time there, um, but I just thought I wouldn't, like, be doing myself any justice if I just came in you know, off, you've not played any games um, for, you know, over a year and then straight into a Super League game. So I thought I'd just need, you know, like a little bit of a tune-up. So went to Swinton, played four or five games there and then got recalled back because I was going to play um, and make my debut against Warrington. And my God, it was fast. My lungs were on fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was good, though. I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Um, it I would say it's... It, the quickness gets you more than the actual physicality of the game. Um, like every, my mates and you now my family and that are asking us how it was and stuff. And um, I would say it is. It's more fast than anything. You, I, obviously, apart from the obvious, I mean it's rugby. It's definitely physical. But um, apart from like the obvious, Paulie Paulies of rugby league, you know, Cassianos and Aquala, all the big lads, they're physical. But it's uh, it's it's the fast nines or. You know, the wingers, the centers that, that catch you out and the quick play of the balls and stuff. But I feel like I uh, handled it well. I thought I enjoyed my debut. I thought I played pretty well. And, yeah, uh, hopefully make, make play more games this year. You know, the last, the last couple of weeks, you've sort of settled down and Richard Marshall's sort of kept faith with you. You got you tasted your first victory against against Wakefield. I mean, what did that feel like to actually come off there? I mean, I know it wasn't at Salford. It was at Warrington's ground, wasn't it? But there was quite a few Salford supporters there. And, and what's that been like as well? You know, crowds returning because obviously at the start of the season, everything was behind closed doors. But have you have you sort of took to... I mean, I know the Salford fans seem to have taken to you. What what do you make of the Salford supporters at the AJ Bell? I mean, we're not, there's not loads of them, but they certainly get behind the team. I love them. Yeah, they're brilliant. Uh, you, you can't beat, you know, like just a loud, a loud stadium with your own fans singing, and it just gives you that extra boost. And especially after we won against Wakefield, and we went over to clap the fans and that, and everyone's just singing and buzzing. And yeah, I, honestly, it felt amazing. I absolutely loved it. The fans are class, so yeah, I can't fault them. What's it been like for you personally with your family and that? I mean, are your family into rugby league. Do, uh, do they do they sort of get on social media and, and see you on there and, and things like that? Well, they better be in a rugby league now, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I will, obviously, it, like I said before, it's all football in Newcastle. Um, but because I've played rugby league, my mum's and my me, dad and my nana and everyone, sister, they've all started watching the game and now, you know, they all know the rules, you know, the players and, you know, how, how we play. And, uh, yeah, they, they've come down to the games and stuff. Uh, my missus came with her mum and dad to the Wakefield one um, and then my mates have came to the, the Leeds one and my mum and dad I've seen my dad in months he's, uh, he's 
he's in the Navy, so he's been on board the ship, so that was his first game, the Leeds one. Um, and I could <laughs> I could just see him singing and dancing away, and oh, it was great. Um, but they absolutely love it, yeah. They, they just, I think they just love um, sport and the atmosphere of sport. You could put them in a, a, a table tennis arena and they'd still have a good time, do you know what I mean? They, they, they just love sport, so um, I think they're loving, loving that time coming down and watching us play. They must be looking forward to September because obviously the Magic Weekend's going to be in Newcastle, isn't it? Um, no, I... at, what are you going to have your own personal sort of collection of tickets there to dish out? Because I mean, everyone no, in Newcastle is going to be behind you. <laughs> <laughs> the whole of uh, Tyneside is going to be behind you that day. You must be excited for that though, going back to your home city. You know, yeah. hopefully you'll be in the side that day. I think it'll be a great spectacle. It's, it's a great day out at St James Park anyway. But for someone like yourself, who's a local lad, you must be must be thrilled to be going back. Yeah, I'm gonna work my socks off to try and get in that squad. Um, I've got uh, all my mates. We, every week, even if I wasn't playing Super League, like I'd be going to it anyway. Like me and all my mates, we get um, a fair few tickets and we just make a day of it. Um, so they're all going regardless. And um, yeah, so that, I know they'll be watching. My mum and dad have already got their tickets. So yeah, I'm <laughs> best not let them down. I best get picked. <laughs> well, I've seen. I've just seen you actually on social media advertising it. You know, it was only a short clip of you doing a bit of acting, lifting your weights there. That's oh, all. Uh, God, that that made that, That's that's your acting career over, I think. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, it must be. I mean, it's something the lads like, isn't it? I mean, the Magic Weekend special. You've got all the teams there, and it does have a bit of a cup final feel. It's a big stadium as well, a big crowd. There's a bit of pressure on there, and yeah, you've got to work your socks off now and get into that side. Absolutely, and you know, hopefully we we get the win fingers crossed and. Uh, I can have a beer with all the fans and that after. I'll see you on the on the tour. It'll be a right laugh. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. What's it been like this season so far? You know, with, with, with Richard Marshall, how, how have you found Richard? Because when I last spoke to you, you were just learning things and sort of just settling in. But how's the mood in the camp now? How, how does he prepare you for the games and that? Is he is he a quiet sort of man or how, how does he go about you know getting you guys ready? Um, we've got we're routine and how we prepare for games. You know, we're training and then now we. Like video and reviewing the other team and how they're going to play, and then we come up with our plan against them and stuff. So that's pretty routine. Um, and he'll grab you and just have a little word word with you to tell you what he's expecting of you, how he's been going and stuff. And luckily for me, he's kept us in for the last few weeks, and I've started to get a bit of rhythm and um, tells us what he expects of us and, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's it's good. He, he's 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 a good uh, he's a good coach and stuff, and he's he does. He expects the best from you, and you know, and you should. Um, and we've had a, a bit of a roller coaster the last few weeks, but then we got them two wins back to back, um, and it just shows we can do it, you know. Um, but I'd say, you know, we can't forgive ourselves for the ill discipline and go, go getting players sent off, and we're just kicking ourselves in the foot, aren't we? Really. Um, but we're ready to bounce back. Obviously, got COVID has postponed the games um, that are coming up, but uh, everyone's training training well we'll get a few more bodies back and uh, we'll be ready to go I suppose it's a difficult one that with the Covid situation because obviously you had two games coming up in so- short succession this week but on the other side of the coin you're disappointed because you're not going to play the games but the squad's a bit low on numbers it does give you Richard Marshall and, and the rest of the guys you know, chance to, to get fit again what's, what's been the script this week have you got a bit of time off this weekend now or, or is it just a case of just carrying on training the, the lads who have not tested positive um well, we're just well because a few guys have got symptoms and stuff now, so we've just done a big round of testing, um, and then they've been sent off now to get uh, to get our results, and then uh, as soon as everyone's got the all clear, we'll be back training. Have you had one of your jabs yet? Because you're only—I mean, I've, I've only had one jab, but you're a bit younger than me, aren't you? So you—you you just had still the one jab. Is it, you ready for your second yeah, one I've soon? Just, I've just had the one, me mate. Aye. Yeah, so hopefully once all the players have, have got the jab and things like that, things might start settling down. But uh, but yeah, well, you enjoy your, your weekend and your time off this weekend, mate. Thanks very much again for coming on the show and speaking to us. Hopefully we'll speak to you again uh, again later in the season. But yeah, you keep training hard. I want to see you on the pitch scoring a try at, at the Magic Weekend at St James's Park. That's it, mate. Sheer celebration all the way around the pitch of my score. Oh, that, that'd be definitely worth watching, mate. Take care, Sam. Thanks very much, mate. No worries, mate. Ta-ra.